What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So this is episode two of my online order with saltwaterfish.com. If you've missed episode one or the introduction video, I highly suggest you go check them out. I will leave a link to them in the description below. They have lots of information. I walk through the website and check everything out. Plus they're doing a giveaway. So you definitely want to check those two videos out. So again, this is the unboxing of the cleanup crew that I ordered and the WYSIWYG or I it and buy it or what you see is what you get coral. I did get my full shipment, which was the five bumblebee snails, the 10 baby Nasaria snails, the 20 Astraea snails, 20 blue leg hermit crabs, my one tiger sand conch, and I did have two separate little I and buy it a can frag packs from their website. We're going to be looking at everything after I acclimated it. I pretty much just take everything, put them in the sump for about an hour, let them temperature acclimate. And the way I do my cleanup crew may be a little bit different from others, but I pretty much inspect their shells to look for any type of hitchhikers and then put them in my tank water. Then I like to take the Astraea snails, especially these guys, since they can't right themselves up. I put them all face down in the sand right up front so I can see them all. They actually sent me 34. Hope I don't get anybody in trouble, but thanks for the uh, 14 extra snails there, guys. Then I'll take all the rest of the critters and dump them in on the side. And this way I get to let them sit there overnight. And if they're still in the same place and they haven't moved, that pretty much tells you that they're, they're dead. But from the last two orders that I placed, I still have yet to have even one uh, dead snail or hermit crab which was, uh, in my eyes, it's 100% ratio, so you can't get any better than that. So you can see here, after about five minutes, everybody's starting to get curious and move around, and even my sand tiger conch is starting to make his move across the sand bed. Definitely, like I always say, highly recommend one of those guys. Bumblebees are already burying themselves, but we'll get back to those in a week. So here's a screenshot of the I and buy it frags that I got from the last video. And you can see here, I don't have the exact lighting that they have, but these are a true, what you see is what you get. I was completely impressed and happy at the health, the quality, the coloration of these frags. They were exactly what they showed on their website. So thumbs up to you guys. Here is the second screenshot that I took from their website. This is the four pack of Acans. Again, when I got them, totally healthy, totally happy. Even right after the dip, you can see here about 10 minutes later, they're already puffing up and looking good. So that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned for episode three, which is the one to two week update of all the cleanup crew and the coral. We'll see how everything looks. I'm going to try and get a little bit of a better shot of these, maybe the top down shots and match them up again to their website pictures. So that's it for now. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time.